There is no doubt Nintendo Switch Online's library of classic games has slowly improved over the years, adding games we thought would never see the light of day again such as GoldenEye and adding new systems everyone loves such as the GBA. Before doing research for this video, I didn't think there were many games left, especially for the systems that have been on here for quite some time now, but it turns out there is still quite a lot of potential. So let's go over every game that could be added to Nintendo Switch Online in the future, but first Firstly, let's set some rules. I am going to try and keep this as realistic as possible. So there will mostly be first party games here and any games that aren't first party could have either been on virtual console in the past or they have a good enough relationship with Nintendo etc. There also might be some games that might have been on virtual console in the past but are now a part of a third party collection like the Mega Man or Castlevania collections. So I will try to steer away from these although they could drop one random game from a collection to allow people to try it out, like Sonic 2 for example. Speaking of Sonic, I won't include the Genesis in this video because I honestly feel like it is too difficult to predict what they could possibly add for that system, and I'm not even 100% sure if they are still adding games to that system, possibly, but it's just honestly too difficult to predict, and I'm not too familiar with the Genesis library as a whole. There's also going to be a lot of games with license issues, as an example, Madagascar Scar for the Game Boy Advanced. The most influential piece of media ever created, I know, but it most likely won't come to NSO. Sorry. I'm also going to avoid talking about systems that aren't on NSO yet because that is opening a whole different can of worms that I will cover in another video. Lastly, there are undoubtedly going to be games I miss, like the most obscure games imaginable that five people know exists. Also, some games I mention in this video may never be added as there are hundreds of titles that could possibly make their way over to the service over the years. But at the very least, I should hopefully cover most of them and the most likely ones to come over. But if there are any games that you think could be added that I've missed, let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more Nintendo content. Up first we have the NES, the first system to be added, with 71 games currently available to play. A lot of major titles have made their way over already, but there are still some potential titles we could see added in the future. Starting off in no particular order, we have Adventures of Lolo 2 and Adventures of Lolo 3. Bases Loaded, Donkey Kong Jr. Math, Duck Hunt. Now with Duck Hunt, I know there may be be some complications with there needing to be an accessory and everything, but they figured it out for the Wii Virtual Console with motion controls, and I honestly don't think it will be too difficult to do the same with gyro controls on the Switch. So I could see it being added at some point. It's an iconic NES game, one of the most iconic games out of the whole library. I think it will happen eventually. Fire Emblem Gaiden, which probably will be Japan only if it ever does come, but you can still technically access it. Hogan's Alley. Mac Rider, Mighty Final Fight, Star Tropics 2, Spelunker, Wild Gunman, Yoshi's Cookie, Golf, Ten Yard Fight, Rad Racer, Little Ninja Brothers, Slalom, World Class Track Meet or Stadium Events depending on which country you're from, the Famicom Detective Club games, it'll be interesting to see if these games ever did make their way over because I know they had those amazing remakes from what I've heard on the Switch but still, it's been a while since they've come out, so they could possibly add the originals on NSO. And last but not least, Urban Champion. I know it has an arcade archives version on the Switch already, but that will not stop it from coming over eventually, because we have countless arcade archive games that are already on NSO. For the next system, we have the SNES with 63 titles currently available, and some future editions we could see could be Plock, Fire Emblem, I'm not even going to attempt to say that because I will butcher it, SimCity I could definitely see coming over, Super Famicom Wars, again, maybe Japan exclusive, I'm not too sure, but it'd be cool to get some more of the War series on Switch. Super Mario RPG. Now, I know this game had an amazing remake that I absolutely adored on the Switch not too long ago, so maybe this one will be quite some time away, but I honestly could see them adding the original at some point, especially when sales have sort of slowed down a little bit. I do think it will eventually come over. We've seen it with like Link's Awakening, for example, so hopefully we will get access to the original one day. Tetris 2 could be some license issues here, but it'd still be cool if this made its way over. Super Play Action Football, Dr. Mario and Tetris. 
Wario's Woods. Now these next games require some sort of accessory to play similar to Duck Hunt, but these ones might be a little more complicated to add, but not impossible. Some of them could come over, some of them they just simply might not bother, which is fair enough because I mean, half of these most people probably haven't heard of. Battle Clash, Tin Star, Mario Paint, a big one that people do want to see come over. Mario and Wario, Metal Combat, Falcon's Revenge, Super Scope 6, and Yoshi's Safari. Again, not expecting all of these to happen, but some of them most definitely could. The Nintendo 64 is sitting at 31 games available on the service at this time and is one of the more recent additions, but there are still many big games left to add. Up first, we have Banjo-Tooie. Now, recently we have seen that they clearly are adding rare games, maybe a little slower than we would want, but there is definitely no issues there with the whole relationship and license issues. They're clearly letting them add these games. They've added the first Banjo-Kazooie, so I don't see why they would not add the sequel. Bomberman Hero and Bomberman 64, I'd at least love to get one of these over one day. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm not gonna lie, this one might be kind of tricky simply just because of the whole rating issue. I mean, if you know Conker's Bad Fur Day, you'll know it's infamous for its slight rudeness. So maybe this one might be a bit more difficult. They might not want to change the whole ESRB rating for the app just for one game. But it'd be really cool if it did happen. And again, GoldenEye happened. You know, that was like the most impossible game out of all of these to be added. So it could be kind of cool. Cruising USA is another great one that they should add at one point, definitely. Diddy Kong Racing and Donkey Kong 64. Two rare games that are Nintendo IPs. So I, I just hope that these make their way over at some point. I'm sure they will. They're just taking their sweet time and will probably understandably make a big deal out of it when they do eventually come. Killer Instinct Gold, Ogre Battle 64, Ridge Racer 64, Perfect Dark, another rare game that will be cool to make its way over. Mischief Makers, Hey You Pikachu, Accessory Problem again, although this one requires a microphone, so it might be a bit more tricky to get over. But I'm not going to lose sleep if Hey You Pikachu isn't added. And last, but most definitely not least, Super Smash Bros. They're going to add this 100%. If I had to bet on any of these games being added out of this whole video, it would be this one. They're just saving it for the right time. And again, will understandably make a big deal out of it when it does come. So it's just more of a case of when rather than if. The Game Boy is one of the most recent additions. So understandably, there are many games missing. Some huge generation defining games here. So very exciting to see what could potentially be added in the future let's go over them up first we have balloon kid super mario bros deluxe super mario land 1 strangely they've not added that yet although super mario land 2 is already over wario land super mario land 3 wario land 2 again strangely wario land 3 is over but the first two aren't radar mission alleyway tetris 2 again potential licensing issues tennis golf donkey kong Mole Mania, a classic that more people need to play. Rayman, Mario's Picross, Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold and Silver, and Crystal. I have covered this in more depth on another video, so feel free to check that out because I won't be going into too much detail here. And I know there's a whole debate about whether they will add the Pokemon games to NSO if they'll do them as separate releases, but I do at least hope they will add the original Game Boy games as they were on the 3DS. They make so much sense to come to NSO, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I just hope these games make their way over to Switch, however it is, because they deserve to be on this system. And let's be real, they are probably the most iconic and most important games on the Game Boy. Some spin-off games that probably won't have too much issues coming over because we already have the trading card game is Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, and hopefully Pokemon Trading Card Game 2, The Invasion of Team GR. That'll be really cool to see over as it was a Japan exclusive and I loved the first game. Kirby's Pinball Land, I love pinball games. Kirby's Block Ball, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Land, Donkey Kong Land 2 and 3, Game & Watch Gallery, Game & Watch Gallery 2, Yoshi, Yoshi's Cookie, and lastly, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. And finally, the Game Boy Advance, the system that I think has the most potential out of this entire list 
as there are so, so, so many big games missing and is my personal favorite console out of all of these ones here. Mario Golf Advanced Tour, Mario Tennis Power Tour, two great ports of these Mario sports games. Mario Party Advance, a not so great Mario Party game. Mario Pinball Land, Metroid Zero Mission. Honestly, I don't know why this wasn't added with Fusion last year. Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, plus Four Swords. Could you imagine how cool it would be to be able to play Four Swords online? Wario Land 4, my favorite Wario Land game. Wario Wear Twisted, Yoshi Topsy Turvy, Rayman Free and Rayman Advance. Remember when these were added to Virtual Console back in 2017? It would be great to see these come over again. The more Rayman, the better. Mario vs Donkey Kong, again, a similar situation to Super Mario RPG. I think this one will eventually get added, probably not for some time because of course we just got the remake this year, a great remake by the way, but still I think in a few years time when sales have died down, there's no harm in adding the original. DK, King of Swing, a really cool game I want to try, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Country 3. We've seen the Super Mario Advance series poured over so I don't see why they wouldn't do these as well. And again going back onto Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red and Leaf Green, please bring these games over. They are so good and would just make this whole service a million times more valuable. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, a similar situation again to Mario vs Donkey Kong in Mario RPG, with this one being a, a smaller release that came out a very long time ago and only being half of the package. I don't see why they wouldn't add it. Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, F-Zero GP Legend, Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones, Advance Wars 1 and 2. Again, these will eventually probably make their way over despite there being a remake. Game & Watch Gallery 4. And lastly, 100% gonna happen, I'm counting on it, Mother Free in the West. I know it's not gonna happen. And that is a very long list of games I think could come over. Again, I've 100% missed some that probably will come over and probably missed some of your favorites. So let me know in the comments down below which games you want to see added in NSO. Do you think NSO is worth it now with all these games that we have and are continuing to get admittedly quite slowly, but still it's getting a lot better than it was before. And make sure to subscribe for another video on potentially the systems they could add next to NSO. Peace. Sunrise.